Hello, my name is Joe Desiderio. I'm with Caravan Ingredients and I'm with the Technical Service Group. Today we're going to talk about what makes a traditional New York style bagel. What I have in front of me are some bagels that we produced using our New York Best Bagel Base. And one of the first attributes that a New York style bagel must have is it must have a sweetener, whether it be molasses, honey, or malt. In this case, our New York Best style bagel has all the three attributes that contain the sweeteners in it. The second thing that a New York style bagel, to make it authentic, must be, it must be retarded overnight for at least 12 hours. The third thing that a New York style bagel, to make it authentic, it must be boiled in a kettle. And the fourth thing that it must be, it must be hearth baked. One of the things we get asked is when is the proper time to mix fruit into my dough and the proper procedure to do it. So what we have here now is a properly developed dough that is fully developed and as you can tell, when I stretch it out, I can see a thin membrane without it stretching, without it tearing. Okay, so we're just gonna add our fruit. We're gonna keep our mixer in low speed. This will ensure that I do not break up the raisins. With the acidic nature of the raisins, it will kind of kill my yeast, so we don't wanna do that. We just wanna mix the, the raisins in slowly. We don't wanna put it in high speed. We're just gonna mix them in slowly until they're totally incorporated. Mixing in too long will break up the raisins and you'll have very fine particulates. Mixing in not long enough and you're gonna have une uneven distribution throughout the dough. So we're just gonna mix these in on low until we think that they're properly distributed. As you can see, the raisins are nice and distributed well throughout the dough and they're not broken up. They're still whole, plump, and juicy. In this case, we used raisins but in other cases, such as blueberries, where it's a more fragile fruit, you might want to mix it in a little bit less, just being sure that you don't disintegrate the fruit in your dough.